It's a defining moment in any young girl's life. It's the point at which she starts grooming, shaving her legs, that sort of thing. And uh, one mum has opened up about how she started shaving her legs at the age of 12, even though her mum was very disapproving of it. Now, her experience has taught her to be a lot more relaxed about it with her own daughter. But uh, what, what age do you think girls should start? grooming and doing things like shaving well, I've got three daughters and I find, I mean, I've got two much older ones and a 12-year-old, and I find that they, they sort of do it in their own... They come to you when there's something that, yeah. that they want to start doing or want to address or... I mean, I wouldn't ever say to my daughter, oh, you know, you've got a hairy... You've got hairy arms or you've got... Why don't you start... Sh but if she came to me and said... Maybe because maybe, you know, people at school might have made a comment or something. I'd be absolutely fine with it. I mean, my mum always used to say to me, I remember, she'd say, when, as soon as you start shaving your legs, it grows back twice as thick, <laughs> is what she always used to say. So I usually, I, for years, I, I thought, oh, my God, I'm going to look like Chewbacca, you know. <laughs> but um, they that didn't grow back twice as thick. That would be a fancy dress outfit sorted. Yeah, no, I think, I think kids... Find their own own yeah, well, Bobby's kind of got flow, quite. I mean, she's 20 now, but when she was quite young, she had quite dark hair, so she yeah. wanted to start shaving quite early. So she used to have a little shave in the bath. I did try and talk her out of it. It was probably about 13, 14, and I said exactly the same thing what you've said. It does grow back quicker because I shave my legs every night in the bath, and every day they're back again. <laughs> but, I, <laughs> but I only shave the front bit. <laughs> Shave the bit you can see, so that little bit at the front, the rest of it. <laughs> no, because no one can shave from here to. No, I don't, don't do that. No, bit. I don't have no. much hair there. It's just that. And I don't do that but, bit either. But like, so, <laughs> so the other day I was wearing capri pants. So I was just about to go out of the door, and I thought, oh my god! So I literally just got a razor and just shaved that bit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had uh, we were going to an, an event and we knew there was going to be a red carpet photos and we were rushing out the house, we were running a bit late and I thought, oh, I haven't done my... Oh, God, I grabbed one of my husband's razors, we're in the back of the car, on the way, like, five minutes from the venue... Dry and shaving. ..and caught myself. Oh, no. Oh. And I'm, like, blood trickling down. I do carry a little first aid kit, one for straps <laughs> that ping off at the last minute when you're bending down, fiddling and uh, or making alterations. So yeah. I've got a little sewing kit and then I had little plasters, tissue... I look like a patchwork doll in there. <laughs> Luckily, I managed to kind of, you know, position the legs so that it didn't show. Did you have to walk like that? Stand behind me. Don't move. Don't move. Well, <laughs> I, I probably started shaving under my arms, my legs and stuff. I, well, under my arms first, because um, uh, I, I played a lot of sport and I used to wear a lot of sleeveless things. My school uniform at the time was, was, was sleeveless. Oh, God, you've shaved them today, um, love. I know. <laughs> we, we didn't know that we were... Thank you very much. Thank you. Always nice to get a round of applause for shaving under your arms. <laughs> So I was about 11, and I just used my dad's razor, and I, I practically severed an archery. It was oh, just oh. horrendous. Um, but, you know, no when... deodorant for you after that. Yeah, oh. when I remember going, whoa, 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 look what I've done, whoa. And, you know, my mum just said, if you'd asked me, I'd have shown you what, what to do. Um, I think, ki yeah, kids know, and they develop at different rates, and, you know, you my, don't my daughter... You do you? Pardon? You, know, you don't want to make them embarrassed about Not anything, at all. you know, about whether it's sort of facial hair or, or um, whether they've got the right shaped nose and that kind of thing, I think. But, but they'll shave like, everything off nowadays, even the bits down there. <laughs> but like that hair is there for a reason. It's the leaf around the flower, the lawn around the house. <laughs> <laughs> you could always use cream, though. I think for a 12 year old, my, my niece, she was, she's got very thick, beautiful hair, and of course yeah. she has hair on her legs, and you know, the kids can tease and be a bit cruel, so it was, it was the, the cream. Yeah, the, the, that you put on. The so tree, it's not, so how you pronounce it? It's a lot safer <laughs> than, than using a razor. Yeah. So that, that's a good but, but, option. But, you know, if you are 11, don't worry about the leaf around the flower. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait until you watch these and click here to subscribe. You may as well. It's totally free. I want them to be able to come and tell me anything and everything if yeah. they're really comfortable with it. But I don't... I mean, it'll drive me crazy my kids being with me 24-7. Mm. Mm. So do you understand this? Do you think Absolutely. If they're, you're doing too much for them that they then go out into the world and then they yeah. can't cope without you Absolutely. and they come scuttling I think home. Well, no, yeah. I think... I, um, I don't agree. 